Today in John Wesley's Journal is a podcast produced by the Wesley Center at Chattanooga, the United Methodist Student Center. In this podcast, we will learn about early Methodism by following John Wesley through his journal as he and others begin a movement that would give rise to the Methodist Church in all its forms. So sit back and let's see what happened today in John Wesley's journal. Welcome back to Today in John Wesley's Journal for November 21st, 1735. But before we get to John Wesley's journal, here are some other things that happened today in church history. On this day in 695, Willibrord is consecrated bishop by Pope Sergius II. He will go on to evangelize that part of Europe now covered by the Netherlands and part of northern Germany. Willibrord and his buddies called it Frisia in their day. In 1430, the Burgundians literally sell out Joan of Arc, giving her to the English. Joan of Arc would later be canonized by the Roman Catholic Church in 1920. In 1638, an assembly meeting at Glasgow rejects the Episcopal form of church government. This was an outgrowth of the ongoing fight over Scottish sovereignty. In his History of Scotland, Magnus Magnuson recounts the events of that day. The Marquis of Hamilton, the King's Lord High Commissioner, tried to dissolve the meeting of the General Assembly. He was voted down and stalked out. The Assembly then proceeded to annul the 1636 Code of Canons and the 1637 Liturgy of the New Prayer Book. To depose the bishops, eight of them were solemnly excommunicated for drunkenness, ignorance, and neglect, and to abolish the Episcopacy. This was the start of the Scottish Revolution. On this day in 1866, Teosoga finishes his translation of Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress into the South African language of his people, Kosa. In 1964, Vatican II places partial responsibility on the Catholic Church for the former violent conflicts with Protestants and calls for ecumenical relationships in the future. On this day in 1988, Richard Foster and company found the Renovar Foundation to help people grow in their faith in Jesus Christ. And now, John Wesley's journal for today, November 21st, 1735. One recovering from a dangerous illness desired to be instructed in the nature of the Lord's Supper. I thought it concerned her to be first instructed in the nature of Christianity and accordingly fixed an hour a day to read with her in Mr. Law's treatise on Christian perfection. And now we return to our time, but we'll be back on the 23rd with another installment from John Wesley's journal. Have a good day.